The vast bully that's up here on the boat is uh, on by and it makes you realize just what you have back there on Earth. Being awestruck can bring a host of benefits, from boosting creativity, to lowering stress, to making us nicer people. But what exactly is awe, and how do we get more of it in our lives? You don't have to go into space to feel the power of awe. Have you ever been stopped in your tracks by a stunning view or gobsmacked by the vastness of the world around us? Psychologists Stacker Keltner and Jonathan Haidt define awe as a feeling we get when we're confronted with something vast that transcends our frame of reference and that we struggle to understand. It's an emotion that combines amazement with an edge of fear, and it can dissolve our very sense of self. Throughout history, powerful leaders have exploited awe to exert control, using grand buildings, monuments, and stories to make their subjects feel inconsequential. Think about the pyramids of Egypt, the Inca temples of Peru, or even Trump Tower. And although awe has often been linked to spiritual or religious experiences, atheists can feel it too. If you stand in front of a dinosaur skeleton, a cathedral, or an amazing natural view or artwork, you're quite likely to feel something similar to what Jim Lovell felt when he looked down on Earth from above. By expanding our attention to see a big picture, awe can make us feel very small. Literally. One study found that people drew themselves smaller after an awe-inducing experience, but it didn't affect their sense of status or self-esteem. Another study found that people who watched an awe-inspiring video estimated their bodies to be physically smaller than people who just watched a funny or neutral video. Using fMRI scans, scientists have found changes in the brain that might be responsible. When people feel awe, it lowers activity in the default mode network, a collection of brain areas thought to make up our sense of self. That might be why awe can make you feel like you're stepping outside of yourself and your internal monologue goes quiet. If you want to see videos showing you awesome discoveries from the world of science, you're in the right place. Subscribe to our channel to see more, from the way sunlight affects your body to how to survive a black hole. And for even more mind-blowing knowledge, use this link to get 20% off a subscription to New Scientist magazine. Altering your sense of self might sound scary, but it can make you a better person. Research has shown that feeling awe makes people behave more ethically and generously. Gazing up at tall eucalyptus trees made people more likely to help somebody who stumbled in front of them. In another study, volunteers stood in front of a T-Rex skeleton, and afterwards, they felt more connected to other people. Awe can have personal benefits as well. It's been shown to make us feel happier and less stressed, even weeks after an awesome experience. It cuts the production of cytokines, chemicals in the blood that promote inflammation, and it activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which calms our fight-or-flight response. So how can we get more awe in our lives? Most of us will never get the chance to look down on Earth from above, but simulating the experience on Earth might do the trick. When researchers took more than 100 people on a virtual trip to space, the participants reported similar benefits to real astronauts, including tranquility, elation, and increased altruism. Seeing expansive videos of Earth has been shown to boost people's curiosity and creativity, inspiring them to think more originally in tests, show more interest in abstract paintings, and persist longer on difficult puzzles. Another way to induce a powerful experience of awe is through psychedelic drugs. Magic mushrooms and LSD also suppress the brain's default mode network. Volunteers who've taken these drugs for research describe having their sense of self altered and feeling more connected to other people. They report feeling happier and more altruistic afterwards, and these benefits can last for a year or more. But you don't need drugs to get a regular dose of awe. Surveys suggest people feel low-level awe on average a couple of times a week. Getting more could simply be a process of thinking about what inspires awe for you and building it into your routine. Whether it's looking at the night sky, listening to a breathtaking piece of music, or watching mind-blowing science videos on YouTube. It's easier than you think to feel awe every day, and doing it can give you superpowers. Kind of. Like and Like and Like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos.